Hey dreamers, it's Maya and welcome back to my channel. So I always get really inspired to like have these little chats and these talks and like one day when I'm sitting at home with my makeup fully done in a cute setting, I'll do that. But while it's on my mind, I want to get this out of me because it's just been heavy on me and I just haven't really done a video where I sit and talk to you guys. But I'm going to sit and drive with you guys instead. So... Um, it's always been my intention to have a channel that has like a lot of actual like helpful videos as far as when it comes to mental health because like that is my niche like that is what I want to do every day I want you know I'm an aspiring life coach and I have a lot to offer when it comes to stuff like that and lucky for me I actually practice what I preach um, and I guess also lucky for me I almost wanted to say unlucky for me but in order for me to become a mentally strong person you're gonna have to go through some things you're gonna have to there are gonna have to be opportunities that show up for you to show up for yourself and you can learn to trust yourself and there's yeah there's just gonna be opportunities where life's like okay this is the person you want to be this is the type of mental health you want to have how do you handle friction how do you handle struggle how do you handle stress um, disappointment uh, patience like all of these things so the past couple weeks I've been feeling this like slope coming on and um, I'm very observant of myself and my thoughts and I could just feel it coming on and then you know it, it you know it was a rather small trigger but any trigger at all and then it just takes that one trigger to kind of you're just like mm, okay I'm there so after I came to the realization, I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm going through some depression right now. I'm like, I'm going to give myself 24 hours. And this is what I really did tell myself. I could feel it. it I had the trigger and I'm like, all right, here I am in my depression. I'm going to give myself 24 hours to literally wallow, to, to, to feel my depression, to accept it, to love myself through it, do whatever I need to do or not do at, for 24 hours. And when I'm done, I'm going to be done. So, for 24 hours, I really, you know, I did not, I think I got out of bed like twice to let my dog out, and I didn't really eat much, I just slept, like goodness gracious, I just slept and slept, and it was a combination, I mean, just fear, not feeling good enough, not feel like I'm making enough progress, these are all just human, normal thoughts. I'm gonna have to say that every single one of you has probably felt that way, or maybe you're feeling that way now. You may not just be like, you're like, happy-go-lucky, like, this is the best day ever self. And that's what we're normal, that's what, that's my natural code. I'm pretty sure that's like the normal natural human code, and you know, that's why kids are usually so happy, and then as life goes on, they kind of dwindle down, and the light dims out. My light was dimmed, okay? And even just like today, I mean, it's it's happened for a couple days. I, I can snap out of it, and that's why I'm getting too full circle here. Um, but I'm like, okay, I'm not feeling optimal me at all. Once the 24 hours came out, I was like, I'm tired of sleeping. I'm tired of being in my bed. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to snap out of this. Now, this is when all the tools and all the things that I've learned have to come into play, and I have to do whatever feels right for me, however many times it feels right for me, and so forth and so forth. So, once I got out of bed, I knew I needed to clean up. So I cleaned up my house. That always, that's like a that's like a form of meditation for me. I wasn't feeling an actual meditation, and I'm still working on that becoming my favorite, like one of my favorite tools. I think one day it will be, but right now it's just not. Um, so I cleaned, and I don't know if I've ever talked about power blasting on my YouTube channel before, but I talk about it all the time on my Snapchat and my Instagram stories and stuff. But power blasting is a term that I came up with, and the initial thing was you go down and you jump really high in the air and you go power blast Woo! and you jump as high as you can in the air like a burpee and you scream at the literal top of your lungs and it just like <laughs> it's so silly and ridiculous that it it your body's just like what the fuck was that like it, it completely shocks your body the, the sound the body movement the jolt of it all that's why it's called a power blast your emotions 
have a lot to do with your motion and like I was depressed I was sluggish I laid in my bed for 24 hours I needed to power blast I needed a shock like it's like shock therapy syndrome you know I'm sure there actually are things out there where you can literally get a buzz like I need shit good thing I don't have a taser and just tase myself or something but power blast um Another form of power blasting that I did, I go to the gym, or even if I just want to go outside, but usually I like to go to the gym, and I play some happy ass shit, like EDM, the troll soundtrack, and I sprint. Now, I'm not much of a runner, like I don't like to run, especially for long periods of time, that's why I like power blasting, because I ooh, run it, run it, run it hard for like 45 seconds to a minute, do as many times as you can. Again, your body is like, whoa, where am I? Hello. And you just like shock yourself out of it. So I cleaned, I did some power blasting and, um, I am still typing my book and sometimes, you know, thoughts in my head, even it's something so exciting for me, like writing a book. I, I've already written it. I'm typing it now and I'm kind of going at my own pace. I'm not forcing myself to type it as fast as I can. I'm just like going at my own pace. Um, but some, that's a part of my snapping out of it thing because I love the book that I wrote I find it very comforting um I find it very true it's like all of my truth it's like it's just a really good story it's a really good book and every time I go and type some more of it I'm basically rereading it again so basically material you know whether it's a podcast for you or a book or um you know something that you know ooh, red light inspires you and gives you hope a truth you can tell yourself a truth you can believe things that you do you know it's all part of a part of that that mind reprogramming another tool that I use is subconscious mind reprogramming I can put the video link right in the description box you guys I've been subconscious mind reprogramming for like a month now and basically it's just videos uh, they're not it's not a video that you watch I mean it's a video on YouTube but it's eight hours long I press play right before I go to sleep and it's like eight hours worth of I am affirmations and it's this really calm soothing voice and this high frequency music in the background it's just like like it sounds like the play like Aah. and she's going I am brave I am bold I am limited like just eight hours worth of that shit I mean literally eight hours a night seven days a week it just really adds up I have hundreds of hours worth of mind reprogramming in my head already but you have to think if I keep doing this at this amazing rate every single day for the rest of my life I'm 27 you know I could backtrack for all of those years but I have a lot of we all have so much unlearning to do because of the way life is right now and the way life is set up but lucky for us you know we have more tools these days and people are talking about mental health more these days but you have got to show up for yourself when you're done with your depression when you're actually like you've given yourself time to feel it you've given yourself you know grace and said okay I'm depressed when you're ready to snap out of it and you know when you are your body like your body's like begging you like your mind's like please let's be done now you got to do something you got to try the tools you got to try out which ones work for you and then when it's time you're like great you snapped out of it okay it, it, it might come back it will come back that's life that's being human dig back in your tool chest and do it again and show up again or else you're just sinking back into your old habits this is a habit that you're building so um yeah, you guys, I really just wanted to get that off my chest. And universe, I got it out of me. The people know, okay? So you can give me a break now. <laughs> I really think that I've been going through this the past couple weeks so that I could get this out and uh, share it with you guys. And whenever I need to use it for myself, I'll go back and watch it myself. So um, I, today, am going to be making lots of progress, whatever that means for me and whatever my body allows. And I'm going to love every second of it and if I need to dig into my tool chest damn it I will so thank you guys so much for watching the tools that I've used as far as the EFT tapping is just a quick little video the subconscious mind reprogramming power blasting I even have a power blast playlist on Apple Music, okay? Um, and also Power Blasting will be a huge part of my stream house, which I can't wait to share with the world, which today I'm actually gonna get working on my business plan 
for the health and fitness space so that you guys can experience this firsthand. So, with all that being said, if you need to put some tools in your tool chest, I hope some of these help you guys. I really honestly do. And thank you for watching. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. If you have any questions, comment below. DM me on Instagram. I love when you guys ask me questions on Instagram. It makes me feel like I'm doing something with my life for the world. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Have an amazing life. Whatever you're feeling right now, feel it, accept it. Love every part of yourself because it's all set up to serve you. Mm-hmm. Let that sink in. It really is all there to serve you. You got to go through the motions. The motions and the emotions. Eh, so, dream big, y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.